Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. You're watching Full Take. So, I am using the Nothing Was 1.5.2 stable Android 13 based OTA update for Nothing Phone 1. We did the complete review of that update along with the battery life results. You can watch that video from the iCard. But today, Nothing has released the another update, Nothing Was 1.5.3, of size 91 MB. It has this small change log which includes some features addition along with the bug fixes and stability improvement. So I started the download in the local OT updater of the phone. If you didn't got this update until now, you can download the package given under the video description and flash it as shown in iCard that I mentioned earlier. You must be on the nothing was 1.5.2 to flash this update. So flashing has been started. Today in this video, we will thoroughly check out all the change log details of this new OTA along with its performance and stability test. Finally, I checked out all the old issues of nothing was 1.5.2. So watch the video till the end. Now without further ado, let's get started. On the new adventure. On the new Flashing is finished and update process was successful. Now let's check out the details of this new update. In the about phone section, now OTA is showing the nothing was version 1.5.3 build number of this OTA space for T1.5 dated 10th March 2023. If we check the Android version section, this is the same Android 13 based OTA with the same material clock registering. Security patch is of same 5th February 2023. Kernel version is same 5.4.197. Now let's check out the change log thoroughly. New update has added three different wallpapers. They look cool but not so fancy. You can take a look of them as on the screen. Wallpaper of this hand shadow I like it the most, but it's a signature wallpaper of nothing phone which were already available from the starting, but now its quality seems improved in this OT a lot. New OT has the advanced game mode option, it has more tunable setting in the dashboard. In this game mode, all the pre-installed games from the Play Store will automatically available in the game dashboard. We can add manually or remove any non-gaming application or gaming application in this list. If you play the games that were added in the game mode, we'll get small game mode overlay button which has all the different advanced settings to tune the game mode. But though we are able to add any non-gaming application in the game mode like here I added the Google Keep application in the game mode, it doesn't got the game mode overlay button, we can see only game mode is activated in the notification. Next they improved the pop-up view animation. In the previous build, they felt laggy, but now they look more smoother. When we enable the pop-up view for any applications from the recent panel, we can easily resize or close the pop-up window now by tapping on the edges of the pop-up view and the dragging application to close window button. Next is they improved the fingerprint unlock animation between lock screen and the AOD. It felt smoother and less jerky now. Next change is the Nothing has added their new Nothing Ear 2 support in the Nothing X application. We didn't have the earphones so we can't able to show you its user interface, how they connect and how we can tune their setting. Now let's check out the bug fixes done by the Nothing. First is they fixed the WhatsApp incoming calls Nothing leaf light blinking. Previously it has some bugs and it didn't pop up during the WhatsApp incoming calls. Now it's working. Next, they fixed the lag in the YouTube videos playback, but actually I didn't face this issue in the older builds also. It may be the device specific issue for some devices, but it's fixed now. Next, they fixed the nightlight issue that is persist in the older builds. This nightlight issue has the abnormal appearance of the nightlight mode in the certain scenarios. They fixed the weather data not showing in the quick look widget and it's actually fixed the it's showing the weather data accurately and when we tap on it, it opens the nothing worse weather application. 
Next, they fixed the flashing charging prompt on the always on display screen. Both charging animation and charging indicator is available and it's working good on the always on mode. These are all the fixes and new features we've seen. Instead of this, nothing claimed that they added the new memory management algorithm that reduces the app's restart time by 35% and lowers the CPU consumption to improve the battery life. They also did the improvement in the CPU stability. Actually, user experience of nothing worse has already a lot improved. It's buttery smooth and with this update, it's cherry on the top. Everything is just gliding like butter everywhere. I did the Geekbench CPU performance test and I got the score of 890 and 2786 for single and multi-core respectively. In the older builds of NothingOS 1.5.2, we got the score of 829 and 2683, which is slightly lower than the current build results. Then I did the OpenGL graphics API test where I got the score of 1818, while for the older build, we got the score of 1806. It's a close touch. If you check the Hulkan graphics API test, this build has the result of 2348, while for the old Nothing OS 1.5.2, we got the results of 2323. Stable Nothing OS 1.5.3 and 1.5.2 has the closed test results, but as compared to both of these Android 13 builds, all the old Android 12 build has the better CPU results. Now let's check out the CPU stability at the higher temperature and heavy loads using the CPU throttle application. I ran the test on the 20 threads for the 5 minutes like old nothing was 1.5.2. This build also shown good results on the graph, but immediately after 1.5 minutes everything ruined, everything turns into the red and yellow lines. When I stopped the test I got a score of 76%, which was the same case for the last build. In the old nothing was 1.5.2, results were again lower below the 70%. So I think CPU throttling issue seems not fixed in this build also. Temperature of device risen between 45 to 50 degrees Celsius which seems higher but immediately it got settled down after the test. Now it's time to check all the issues of nothing was 1.5.2 that we faced last time. Actually these are only related to the unlocked bootloader peoples. Locked users will not face these issues. First is the safety net CTS profile check got failed this time too like old build. So we can't run the banking applications on unlocked bootloader nothing devices. Actually in previous build before 1.5.2 we got successful safety net check. Though device is showing the wide band security as L1 still device play protection the device is uncertified. So I can't able to install the Netflix application but Amazon Prime is available. Instead of this issue I did not found any major issues. This update is cherry on the top for all the nothing users. Nothing is actually trying to clear the bugs and increasing the stability with the performance in every update. This is really appreciated. So that's it for today guys. If this video helped you then please do like and share this video. Subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.